first collegiate start for the SMU Mustangs. And a quick throw to get it going for Brown, and that is Braden West. The running back out of Katy, Texas. And maybe defense that's going to give you effort, maybe not match athleticism, though. Another short pass for Brown, and this time he connects. That is Robertson, the DeSoto, Texas native, brought down again by Sean Williams. Quarterback, a nice screen there. Three for three passing to start the game. This is Prochet, who has some speed. And the Mustangs out the midfield on their first possession. Jared Ryan to stop for the Naval Academy. Five wide for the first time for Brown on third and seven. Maybe rushes three, drops eight. That's right near the first down marker. Prochet again the catch. Heflin brought him down, but it is enough for the first down. Put the backside of that defense up. Here is a pitch to Braden West. The cutback. And a first down run inside the 25-yard line. Jared Ryan makes the play on the senior tailback, Braden West. West again inside the 20-yard line. Sean Williams defensively once again for Navy. Including last week up at Michigan. Big hole again for Braden West. And it sets the ponies up first and goal. The safety Haley comes in to make the play defensively. A third down throw. Can he get out of there? Yes. But Heflin again the play defensively. And the senior Mike Linebacker from Georgia. Another solid tackle forcing the field goal. Only had one field goal attempt on the year. This will be his second. And the former Florida State Seminole not it through. And SMU gets the early lead. A good drive for Will Brown in his first start. Puts SMU in the lead on its home field on this rainy Saturday in Dallas. Ever since. Perry's rushed for over 100 yards in each of his six career starts. Three times he's gone over 200 yards. If you haven't watched number 10 in white play this year, he is a big play guy and is an amazing ball handler. First play of the game, the pitch goes to Texas native Trey Walker. I think Clemens makes the stop. These teams had a shootout a year ago. Here's Perry. That's a nice left-handed pitch this time to Walker. And he's got the first down. Here's Nelson Smith, his first carry of the game, and across midfield. Trevor Denbo, the sophomore. Harry this time keeps it. He's a elusive runner, and that'll be enough for the first down ahead of the SMU 42. Third and five, they give it to the fullback. Look at the surge ahead for Smith. Solid run. This could be two down territory here, don't you think, at this point? Depth for plays like this. Fourth and short. And A.B. converts again. There are no frills when Zach A.B. comes into the game. He is Harry, the late pitch. Nicely done. And another first down is Trey Walker. Knocked down on the play by Clemens. They're inside the 20. They're perfect on the year. 14 of 14 in the red zone, and that includes 11 touchdowns. That's number 87, 10-yard penalty. First down. A rare Navy penalty. They're annually among the lids. First pass of the day for Perry. Uh-uh. It's a run. There is the elusive Malcolm Perry. Just like he did against Memphis in week two, he can dart and dash and make people grasp for air. Boy remains in the game on third and short. The fullback for the first down, and it will be first down and goal to go. Gargiulo plowing his way, and Navy knocking on the door. And Bill, there's no more demoralizing place for a defense than to get beat right up the middle. Now, Kevin Kane came over from Northern Illinois, a team and a deep guy. He's got to make a play. Third down and goal. Here goes the toss to Trey Walker. And he stopped short again by Clemens. Fourth down and goal for A.B. and the mids. Did he get in? 
Yes, touchdown, maybe. Seventh rushing touchdown of the year for Zach Aby. And the mids take the lead early in the second quarter. They've been defense's hand. Are you getting man or zone? Big run. Braden West. Out of bounds inside the 20. Jared Ryan had the angle on him and forced him out of bounds, but a big gain for the senior West. Navy linebackers close a lot faster and hit a lot harder than you see on tape. They sent Page in motion. And on third down, run the football. That's Pierce. Shy of the first down. Should have more fireworks tonight in Eugene. Perry pitching it with the left hand. That's Trey Walker in space. And a first down run to near the 29-yard line for the Texas native. Harry hands it off this time. That is Malloy. He's another Texas native. And about a four-yard pickup on first down for the junior. Option because if you're not, it's an easy five-yard game. They keep it on the ground as usual. This is Nelson Smith. And he's got another first down. Demoralizing for the defense when they keep pounding it at you like this? Oh, absolutely. You ask any defender that's ever played in the last place you want to get gashed is up the middle. Teacher at Northwest Catholic, who I always said would have made a great offensive line coach. Tremendous attention to detail. Malcolm Perry's in a little bit of trouble. That might have been their first design pass of the game. Perry is forced out of bounds by the linebacker Richard Moore. The ball is loose. And SMU comes away with it. The first turnover of the game as Perry puts it on the ground. And Demerick Gary, the defensive tackle, recovers the game's first fumble. Then what SMU's got on their perimeter with all their weapons. Brown did throw two touchdown passes last week at Michigan. This time he connects with Crochet, who had two of them, and he's got the first down. That's a good throw and catch and a third down conversion. Find themselves in the second half of SMU's early season. Brown to the air. There's Robertson to the corner. Touchdown. Looking for its very first win of the Sunny Dykes era in its conference opener. Brown connects. Nicely done, and that'll stop the clock. Crochet backpedaled out of bounds to kill the clock at 121. Ball camp all the time. Minute 20 left, two timeouts. Let's go down the field. This time he dumps it to West in space. And Braden West gets just shy of the 50-yard line. Another big hole. Braden West has been a star on the ground in this first half for SMU. Haley, the safety, made the play. Changing the play up here at the line. Brown has completed seven passes in a row. Make it eight, dumping it off the west. He gets out of bounds again. That stops the clock. They're headed near the 27-yard line. Sean Williams makes the play. All right, he's got eight for his last eight. A lot of them have been the short, safe pass. Back spot there. That's outstanding. Twenty-one seconds. And no timeouts left for SMU here in this first half. Brown going to run. And the ball is loose. Navy's got it. And the midshipman will take over. What a collision that was. Sending Brown to the ground and the ball in the air. That was Haley. He came up with the ball. That was uh, Taylor Heflin again that delivered the hit. That ball may have come free very, very late here in this first half. The clock has run out. On a change of possession, they can go back and review this to see if there is time on the clock if SMU came away with it. Lado can connect from 47 yards out. Final play of the first half, and he hits the right upright. Boy, he had the distance, but he pinged it off the upright. 10 of 16 passing. That leads Navy in attempts and yards. They run the ball on the pitch. There goes Trey Walker. And a first down for Navy. Inside the 45-yard line, Jordan Williams came up to bring down Walker.
penalty. In addition to the best athletes, also the smartest. <laughs> there goes the fullback again, and Gargiulo inside the 30, and there was Elijah McQueen to make the play. All in this offense becomes paramount. You see him. On second down, Lewis the throw, has a man wide open, touchdown Navy! Touchdown Navy. The relief heroics of Garrett Lewis. It's SM U-turn with the football. On the return, Trey Walker. Look out, Walker! He's gone! Just the punt now for Owen White. It is his third of the game. That's a line drive and a returnable punt for sure. And SMU's going to start in good field position inside the 40. Navy territory today for William Brown and SMU. Braden West spins to the 32-yard line where Sean Williams submarines him there. It's a strong first down run for the senior in North Texas. They've got guys that do it in every phase. This will be enough for the first down again for West to had a 71-yard touchdown in the season opener. He's from Katy, Texas. Rosenberg, Texas, just outside, about 25 miles west of Houston. He delivers that one, but it's going to be shy of the first down to Prochet. That's West. His first collegiate start here today. Round of the air. Here's his man. It'll be first down and goal. Prochet crossing over the middle. Very near the first down, but just short of the sticks. There goes West. Uh -uh. Unless he gets a good spot late. But back under center on third down. And he's thrown down at the 10. The ball is free. SMU has it first and goal. Kyron Mitchell forces the fumble from Garrett Lewis. And SMU will start on the two. Braden West gets popped on first down. So they'll try to do it again from the three. Ball in the air. Touchdown. Gallier with the reception. Defensive player. The extra point is blocked. Navy's got it. This can be returned. This is Ryan. Jared Ryan on the blocked extra point. Two points. Navy. Trick play earlier in this half. Two of Navy's biggest stars not on the field as we come down to the key stretch of this game. Here goes Garrett Lewis, and he's got the first down across the 30-yard line. Eric Sutton made the play for the Ponies defense, but that gives the Naval Academy a first down. You and the rest of this group have to lift him up and be better around him. Another first down play for Lewis. And he pops his way out of bounds near the 45-yard line. Fight a hand. It's been quarterback run after quarterback run. Here's the pitch. C.J. Williams off to the races. Touchdown, Navy! And Bill, this all goes back to what SMU defensive coordinator Kevin Kane told us yesterday. Woodhouse. Garrett Lewis on first down. Stays on his feet, crosses the 21-yard line. It looked like he was down, but Lewis kept the legs mo uh, moving. Elijah McQueen ended up making the play. Navy has won an awful lot of games over the last couple of years. Second down and three. 
There's Nelson Smith. He's got the first down. Williams, Jordan Williams, the linebacker, pushed it back. A year ago, this came down to a field goal on the game's final play. From the 26. There goes Lewis again, and he's pushed out of bounds by the police. Damn. Garrett Lewis. Right near the first down marker, Academy. SMU needs a stop to try to get the ball back. Here's Lewis, escapes one tackler. Lewis picks up the first down. The biggest play of the game by the senior quarterback, Garrett Lewis. How did he get away from that defense? It's a chance of getting in field goal range. Lewis to the air, and it's incomplete. Crochet is going to field it on a bounce. How far can Crochet go? There goes Crochet in open field. And he's just tripped up on the 38-yard line with six seconds to go. Everyone from Annapolis to Dallas holding his breath as Crochet saw open field. He better pay attention. I understand it wasn't a score, but that's a great play by a large man. Over the middle and... Really well done there to take the knee. That'll stop the clock on a timeout with one second left. Or one second left. Pro eight. They're all standing essentially in Fort Worth. They're on the other side of the field by the end zone. Will Brown throws it as far as he can. Deflected. And it goes out of bounds on the final play of the fourth quarter. Time period. If we're tied at the end of that period, and we will continue until we no longer have a tie. Each team will have one timeout per period, and timeouts do not carry over to subsequent periods. The winner of the toss will cho choose offense, defense, or the end of the field on which we will play. Navy, you're the visiting team. Same coin as before. Heads, tails. What is your call? Tails is the call. It's heads. At SMU, you want to go defense? Which end of the field do you want to play? SMU won the toss. They will play defense. Navy's ball, first down on the south end of the field. Good luck. Well, there we go. So all time, Navy is seven and four in overtime games. They beat San Jose in a triple overtime game. Big moment where you started. Garrett Lewis fakes the pitch and runs. Lewis has the first down at the 15-yard line. The Merrick Garrett. It going for the back and let him make a play. Gargiulo is going to try to run inside the 10, pinballing his way. He picked up about five on that play. Shane Haley, the linebacker, the sophomore, made the play defensively. Situation does that present itself here for another big play? Lewis on the option keeper near the five, but short. It'll be third down for the Navy team. Situation influence what you've got to go do next. Lewis on the sneak on third and short. Navy football hasn't been as clean today, but everything else has been there. Lewis stretching inside the three, and the ponies pull him back. It'll be second down and goal. McQueen wasn't going to let go. This isn't their game there without A.B., and they're without Perry. But Lewis gets it in. Touchdown Navy. They take the lead here in overtime. From the 25, in space. And the new quarterback is Ben Hicks. And he dumps it off to Braden West. So how about that here in overtime? Mm -hmm. Makes a big play. My mistake, second down. Second down and eight now for Ben Hicks. There goes West. Down to the seven yard line. West a chance at some extra yards. Now it's third down. West gets near the five, but he is short. He needs the touchdown and the extra point to tie. Hicks hands it off. West stretches forward. And the spot appears to be good at this point, but they're going to stop the clock initially. 
And he did get the first down, and SMU is still alive. Four second and goal now. To the air, Hicks lets it go. Porsche, the leaping touchdown grab. And SMU is going to go for two and the win. But they're going to give him a chance to win it. For the win for SMU going for two in overtime. The final play of this game. A two-point attempt. Big man at the bottom of your screen. The throw to the left side. It is caught. Two-point conversion. Hunter Thetford wins it for SMU. Lined up in the slot. Adam Savoie is the referee. Are they looking at the formation or the motion before the snap? Has to be. So you had a sixth offensive lineman on the field. A guy out there, usually in that situation, depending on where he's lined up, has to declare eligible. You saw them burst. All the players moving at once, getting in a different formation. You see a big body in the slot on the bottom of the screen. You've spent all game trying to control. After further review, Play is legal. Two-point conversion is good. And SMU can celebrate again. Delayed reaction, but I have a feeling it's still going to feel just as good in that post-game locker room for SMU. And how about for that gentleman, Ben Hicks, who comes off the bench. He was told last night that Will Brown would be the starter but he comes in in overtime and leads SMU to the win.